I'm Jerry Herbst, and we're going to drive down to the brass tacks and hard facts and standpipe hookup. The first item we're going to use in this hookup is a gate valve. Primary reason for the fire department using their own gate valve is after we free flow the system, check it for debris, we're going to leave the system valve all the way open and we will control the closure with the fire department's equipment. That way we have the ability of the full capacity of the system under our control. We can set the pressure needed based on the flow requirements on the fire floor. Next item I'm gonna go on to hook up is a standpipe gauge, an inline standpipe gauge, and an elbow. Primary reason for the gauge is so we can set the pressure based on the flow needs on the attack floor. The elbow is going to give us the ability to eliminate a kink in the system coming off into the hose. It's a full time free swivel on both items so that if the hose moves as the advance happens, the control firefighter can orient it so that he can see the gauge and eliminate kinks. Now we'll hook up We'll check with the fire floor, ensure they're ready for water, and we'll set the system pressure based on the flow requirement. In this, sen In this scenario, we're going to charge the system to 60 pounds. All right, we've got communication now from the fire floor. We've got a knock on the fire, so we're gonna shut the standpipe set up down. Shea will close the valve. Communicate to the fire floor that we're ready for pickup. Now I'll go through some of the components we actually used in the hookup and the advantages of using this type of system. If you remember, we're using a fire department's valve here, so we've got gated control. Gives us capacity from this system. We control the pressure based on the flow need. We then moved on to our lightweight elbow. Additional feature this elbow has is a bleeder valve where we can now back bleed the pressure from the fire floor stretch so we don't get drenched at this location. This is also another nice feature if they were to have a pinch or some sort of a problem on the fire floor where we needed to relieve pressure between the control point and the fire floor, we can relieve pressure without actually having to shut the system completely down. The entire system package, the objective is to keep it as lightweight as possible for the firefighter that has to carry it from up on the attack. The elbow and inline gauge valve system is five pounds or less, whether you're using an analog version or the electronic version, we'll see in another setting. So the three components fit nicely into a high-rise bag. It's very compact, but it gives options on the fire floor with this type of setup.